Our custom security tool allows you to create and then view securities that you have that are not yet on the YCharts website. In this video, I'm going to walk you through setting up a custom security and then different ways you can pull that custom security into different tools that we offer. I'm going to start out here. I'm on a blank custom security page. And the first thing that I'm going to want to do here is select upload data. And from here, I'll be able to select download our template. Once the Excel template has opened, you'll see you'll have the ability to enter in the dates of the custom security as well as the value. So you can choose to upload by returns or by the securities level. I'm going to take a moment here to copy and paste over all of the dates and levels that I have for my custom security. All right, I've gone ahead and I have added in both the dates and the values. I'm now going to save and then head back to the page. Now that I'm back on the custom security page, I am first going to select the frequency and value type we have the ability to upload by daily, monthly, or any returns or levels. If you are uploading by daily or monthly, I highly recommend looking over the data formatting requirements to make sure you are complying with those in order to upload the security successfully. I'm just going to select any levels here and then scroll down and then drag and drop my file. Once I've clicked submit, it has input all of my dates and values. And here's where I am able to enter in the name, as well as I can adjust the benchmark and the classification if I'd like to. From here, I'm happy with how this looks. So I can select save, and then the security itself will start to populate. Now that my custom security has finished calculating, you'll see that the custom security page itself looks very similar to any other type of security that we have on the YCharts website. A few things I'd like to point out here is first being the as of date. The last day I had in my custom security Excel file was June 30th. So you can see it's only calculating data up until June 30th of 2023. The second thing I'd like to point out is it does look like a few of the key stats are missing. I currently do not have a expense ratio or a dividend yield added to this custom security, but I am able to go in and edit those. To make those changes to the custom security, I'm going to select advanced settings here. And in the performance metrics, that's where I'll be able to add the expense ratio and the dividend yield. This is important if I add this custom security to a model portfolio, it will then take both the expense ratio and the yield into those weighted metrics. So I'm just going to go ahead and add those here. And as far as continuation, that is what is going to allow me to view more recent data instead of just that last data point in the Excel file. So currently I have it turned off. I have two options to choose from though. I have fixed. So this is if you have something like a CD that is going to give you an annualized return that's guaranteed. This is where I'll be able to input that annualized return here. Because I'm working with more of an ETF that doesn't give me guaranteed returns, I'm going to select static here. And what this is going to do, it's going to take that return information from June 30th, the last date I had, and just continue it on until the previous day. So now that I'm happy with this, I'm going to go ahead, click save, and then open up the custom security again. Now that I have adjusted and made those changes, you can see both the as of date has updated. It's now showing the previous day and both the dividend yield and the net expense ratio have been updated. So now that it looks like this, I am ready to add it to a model portfolio. Here is a portfolio that I've created that contains both the custom security itself, as well as a few other ETFs that you can find on our website. Because I added that continuation to my custom security, I am able to also see an up-to-date version of my portfolio. It's not ending at that June 30th mark, as well as I can see the overall weighted expense ratio and dividend yield of the portfolio as well. So while you can add a custom security to a model portfolio, you're also able to go in and add it to one of our chart tools. 
Now I've opened up a fundamental chart here. And as you can see, I've already added in that ETF proxy, my custom security, just by using that search bar. And I've also added in the benchmark. So I'm looking at the next drawdown right now of this custom security. So I can either continue to add different financial metrics um, and just look at the custom security itself, or I can add in its benchmark or even another security to view a comparison. The last tool I'm going to touch on also has to deal with looking at comparisons, and that is going to be our comp tables tool. I have that open right here. And as you can see, I've added in some financial metrics and I'm just going to search for the custom security by typing in the name here. And as you can see, it pops right up and it will start to add in all of these metrics. So I can just look at it all on one line, which is really nice, but I can also go in and I can add in some metrics that are comparable to the custom security. So I'm going to go in and just add in a few of those. And from here then I'm able to see how my security ranks against those other ones that are in the same sector. If you have any questions on our custom securities tool, please reach out to your designated account manager.